Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to part two of my summer capsule series 2018. I've been super excited to share this second part with you guys and especially since we've had this amazing weather in Denmark for like a month or something so the timing could not be more perfect. Now if you haven't watched the first episode in this series yet I definitely do recommend you guys to go back and watch that video maybe after watching this one so I will link it down below for you guys. It just gives a better image of my thought process both um, upon the previous capsule that we just went through, how I feel like things went, if there's something that I could have done differently, um, and also if there's something that I want to continue with in the next capsule wardrobe. And then I also go through my whole planning process, how do I decide what kind of items I want to make part of my next capsule wardrobe, if there's something that I feel like I need to part with, if I feel like I'm missing something. So uh, yeah, just a lot of thoughts in that guide. There's also a written blog post if you want sort of like the written recap instead. I'll link it down below for you anyway. So as many of you know, I always divide my capsule wardrobe videos in two. So I always have that wrap up and planning kind of video. And then the second one, which is the one that we're digging into today is the lookbook and haul. And I'll be going through all of the items that I have taken into my capsule wardrobe. In short, just to kind of tune you guys into the mood or the theme that I'm going for this summer season, I am kind of going back to basics a bit, I guess. Um, so I'm going for natural fibers such as organic cotton, silk, linen, and then I'm also keeping the colors rather muted. So I am going for a very monochrome color scale and then I have these sort of natural colored fabrics within the whole range of colors here. So this time around, I really feel like I'm channeling my inner Scandinavian woman and just kind of being true to my own style and my love for this very monochrome color scale. And uh, yeah, anyway, I can't wait to show you all the looks and all the items. So let's just get started. Now, just one more minute before we actually dig into all of these items I have hanging here. I just want to have another look back at spring because I feel like there were some thoughts I didn't mention in my previous video that I just, they just came to me after making that video. So I feel like I really want to explain a few things. There were a few items in my spring capsule wardrobe that I didn't reach for at all, basically. And I don't know if you guys remember, but I have these vintage kitten heels in my occasion wear mini capsule. And I kind of had this idea that I wanted to wear these kitten heels on a daily basis every now and then just to kind of force myself to wear heels more often. And uh, I didn't do that, not even once. So I guess that just proves that I am a flat shoe kind of girl. The only times where I actually wear heels is if I'm gonna go out, then I'm all in for the heels or on a daily basis, then it's my boots that I reach for. They all have um, a little heel on them. So that's kind of the only way that I feel comfortable enough wearing something with a heel on a daily basis. So I just feel like going back a step there and you know, just being true to the fact that I just don't live a life where heels are appropriate for an everyday look. When I'm at work, especially at my part-time job, I often run around in the entire house and I take pictures, I have errands I have to run, and when I work from home, when I'm working on my content here, mostly I'm bare feet because I'm just around the house all day. So yeah, I guess I'm trying to say that it's so important that you stay true to yourself, straight, stay true to the life that you're actually living because that will have an impact on your overall style. So just to tune you guys into the way I structure my capsule wardrobes, many of you know that I have a all year basic wardrobe, which counts as 80% of my wardrobe. It consists of items that never lets me down, fits all seasons, all occasions, it just works. 
Then I have the last 20%, which is what I like to call my seasonal capsule. And that is what I have hanging right here. And then I have my little mini capsule with occasion wear, which is sort of just more fancy wear for weddings and stuff like that. So I always use my seasonals to kind of just spice things up a bit and to give my basic wardrobe some new life. So my basic wardrobe stays more or less the same all throughout the year. It's kind of static, but I actually do have two items that I have decided to add to my basic wardrobe because I've missed them. Um, so not 100% static because your life is not static either. So you can alter it, of course, it has to fit your life at all times and it just needs to work. But other than that, it actually remains the same all throughout the year. So this summer I have purchased two new items for my summer capsule and then the rest I have hanging here is something that was from my spring capsule and also something that I have brought out from storage. So uh, yeah, let's just start from this end and uh, let's just start with a few accessories. Um, I have my straw hat. This is actually a very old hat that I bought at the men's department in H&M, so nothing fancy, but I love this hat. I bring it out every single summer and uh, to me this is just the ultimate summer hat. Um, straw and wicker bags are everywhere, so it falls perfectly into that sort of trend, but at the same time it's a very timeless summer piece, so it's something that's pretty safe to invest in. Then I have this shopping bag right here. This is actually a bag that I got in a hotel in Paris. And I just think it's really funny with the pineapple, very summery, and I like this uh, very natural kind of fabric. I think it's like cheesecloth fabric. And again, I just feel like this is such a versatile summer bag or summer accessory. I actually also used this quite a lot last year. And I think it's a great substitute for all the wicker bags and these very natural straw bags that's everywhere right now. Um, so if you have something like this, this can definitely substitute, substitute for that trend. Stay. Then of course I have a couple of sunglasses. There's not really anything new going on here because I have my Ray-Ban Erica sunglasses and I've had these for I think six years and I use them every single day at the moment because the sun is just shining. These are in the matte black color. I love these sunglasses. Um, then I have these brown sort of like tortoise. How do you say that? Tortoise? So yeah, just a great alternative to my black sunglasses. I kind of like that the brown is more soft against my skin. It can kind of look really contrasted with the black, black ones sometimes. So that was the accessories. So let's move on to the denims that I have right here. So this is a pair of secondhand Levi's shorts. These are a couple of years old and I bought them, of course, on ASOS Marketplace as everything else I have that is secondhand Levi's almost. Um, so yeah, just a classic pair of Levi's cutoff shorts. I know that the brand Redone also sells um, secondhand Levi's shorts, but you can get these to a fraction of the price on ASOS Marketplace. So just saying, if you want to save some money, it's definitely worth checking out. I'm gonna be wearing these mostly when I'm at home, during the weekends, or if we're on vacation. I don't really feel like these are appropriate for the office because they're kind of short. Also, an awesome pair of shorts for festivals. I actually wore these to a festival last year um, with a blue cotton shirt and then a pair of black boots and um, yeah, felt really comfortable in that. I brought these out from storage, by the way. I'll show you the two new items that I bought in just a minute. Let's just move on to the skirt I have right here. You guys might remember this from my DIY video that I posted not so long ago. Um, this is actually, actually a skirt that I made myself out of a pair of old jeans and I know that the technique is not new at all. It's not like I invented it or anything, but I think sometimes we all just need to be reminded that we have great opportunities right in front of us. And I had a pair of jeans that I didn't use anymore, which I really liked the color of. And I thought, you know what? Why not turn them into a skirt? And you guys seem to really love it. I received so many amazing photos on my Instagram and um, you guys 
were doing scratch yourself and that was just so amazing to see so yeah thank you so much for all of those pictures it made me so happy to see this one i will wear to the office maybe with a t-shirt and a blazer i think that's very office appropriate also it's not as short as uh, the denim shorts so it's a bit more office appropriate okay so let's just move to the two new items that i have purchased for my wardrobe i probably should have started with these because i feel like now it gets all messy but i'll just show you the two new items that i've added so i bought these denim dungarees on asos marketplace again a great place to shop secondhand denim and i really just liked the color and um, the fit from the pictures on the website and uh, they kind of have these more wide legs but then i just fold them in a way so that they're more tapered towards the ankles and uh, yeah i am so in love with these dungarees probably not an item that i would wear again to the office because i feel like that's a bit too casual but i don't know maybe one day i will um, and this year I'm just all about dungarees. I don't know why. I mean, I've been for a long time. I already have a pair of dungarees that I use for when we paint the house or when we're gardening and things like that. And I just love wearing those dungarees. Um, I feel so cute and relaxed. And yeah, this year I'm all about mixing a very relaxed item like this with something a bit more dressy and feminine like this top right here which is another new item that i bought for my summer capsule this one is from people tree and it's made in 100 percent organic cotton so a very sustainable piece indeed and just this look right here is what i'm all about this summer and then maybe even with the hat and that's just like a scandinavian countryside kind of look so yeah i feel like i could live in this all summer also let's just have a little chat about this top because I think that this is amazing. Unfortunately, it seems like it is sold out on their web shop. They have a similar one, but just with longer sleeves and then they have kind of this bell sleeve situation going on. Uh, but I have found it on another web shop, so I'll link that down below if you really want to get your hands on this amazing top. Just very cute and feminine and I feel like this is super appropriate for all the summer parties as well. And I'll also be pairing it just with a pair of basic uh, jeans or maybe a pair of denim shorts, something like that. So two new items to spice up my summer capsule. So let's move on to a couple of short sleeve shirts. This one was also part of my spring capsule. This one is the one from Power of My People made in 100, 100, oh my God, 100% linen. And uh, yeah, like I said, I'm all about those very natural, summery fabrics and linen is just a perfect summer fabric. I'm still loving this shirt. I've been wearing it with my denim skirt as well and just with my white jeans, things like that. And then I've brought this one out from storage. This one is just an old one from H&M. Originally it was actually longer, but then I've shortened it just to kind of get a more cropped kind of boxy fit. Um, kind of the same story as this guy right here, so it was just to have the opportunity of going for something a bit more white <laughs> instead of the black one. So uh, yeah, I feel like short sleeve shirts are definitely a great, versatile, very timeless summer piece and uh, goes with everything that I have in my wardrobe. Then I have this silk shirt. This is actually part of my occasion wear wardrobe, but this time around I've just decided to make it part of my everyday wardrobe. So sometimes I pick and choose like that. I can, you know, alter my capsules like I want. And this time around this year, I really want to make this part of my everyday wardrobe. And this is made in 100% silk. It is vintage and I bought it at ASOS Marketplace last year. I just really love this cream color and the fact that it's a very like flowy fabric. Um, also feel like this would be amazing together with my denim shorts to kind of make these contrasts. I love when something very feminine and delicate meets something a bit more edgy and rugged like these denim shorts. All right, so let's move on to dresses because I actually have no less than three dresses in my summer capsule this year. I know, who am I? 
I have three. I have this one that I'm wearing today. So yeah, let's actually just start with this one. This one is a shirt dress from People Tree. I was so kindly gifted this one last autumn and I just knew that this was gonna be perfect for my summer capsule. So I actually stored it away straight away after receiving it. And um, I just feel like it is the perfect throw on piece for summer if you're laying by the pool or the beach, but definitely also for an everyday look. I've been wearing it with a pair of sliders most days and just, oh, I love this shirt, very airy and flowy, even though it's a kind of a thick cotton fabric. And then I also feel like it fits very well into this natural color palette that I've got going on. Uh, then I have two more dresses and I also brought these out from storage along with this one that I'm wearing right now. So this one is from the brand Gany and I bought this secondhand a couple of years ago. You might remember it from my summer capsule last year because I wore it all the time. I wore it every single day when we were in the States actually in Las Vegas. This was all I wore. So yeah, this is just a great basic dress and you guys know that I love my stripes so it's just right up my alley. So the other dress I have here is from Sara and I think this is maybe around five years old and I uh, haven't brought it out of storage for a while but I don't know this year I am all about the dresses I don't really know why maybe it's because my legs are getting a bit more tanned I just love the fact that it's navy I love the bad wing sleeves I love this very low waist that it has kind of um, Isabel Marang actually um, then it also has pockets which I am a huge fan of so this is again just a great summer dress both with a pair of sliders but also for a night out with a heeled sandal and a great bag and a lot of accessories so yeah who knew that i was gonna be a dress girl this year i didn't for sure so moving on to a pair of shorts these were also part of my summer capsule last year and the year before that um, these were originally a pair of tailored trousers that i found in a local secondhand shop they're actually from H&M, a pair of old H&M, I guess, because this is sort of a funny label. Anyway, I cut them off and then I decided to turn them into a pair of shorts because I am all about these sort of tailored shorts. I feel like they're very office appropriate. And in general, you can sort of dress these up and down because usually I wear them with like a very light cotton shirt. So um, to the beach, they're actually very appropriate as well. And then usually to dress them down even further. I like to wear them with this hat right here. So uh, yeah, this was definitely a great find and a great tip is definitely to look for a pair of trailer tailored trousers in a local secondhand shop and then turning them into a pair of shorts. Then the last piece of clothing I have in my summer capsule, then we're moving on to shoes is these culotte trousers from People Tree. And this was actually also an item that I was gifted for my autumn capsule last year, but I actually ended up not really using them. And I remember thinking exactly like with this shirt dress that I'm wearing right now, that they, was, they were gonna be perfect for my summer capsule, even though they're actually made in a rather heavy sort of fabric. This year I am so in love with culotte trousers. They kind of been around for some years now and I feel like they've almost turned into a very basic kind of piece so I might even bring these into my autumn capsule as well because I feel like they're very cool with a pair of boots as well maybe I'll even wear that during summer if we get those very more cool temperatures all right so I have three pairs of shoes that I want to share with you guys and um so I'm not really gonna explain these too much because I've had them part of my spring capsule as well and I also had them part of my spring summer capsule last year. You guys have already seen these countless times and I still love them to death. I am not a print kind of girl but when it comes to leopard I am all there. So I can't recommend these exact ones because they have a weird sizing. I also mentioned that back in my spring capsule video. So I will link a few alternatives for you down below. They took forever to break in and they kind of still fit a little bit weird sometimes, but I just love these shoes so much that I just wear them on days where I know that I'm not gonna be running around too much. So moving on to a couple of sandals. 
These are my go-to slides. I've had them for a couple of years as well, so I brought them out from storage. I've already been wearing them quite a lot since we've been having this beautiful weather. Then I've actually decided to bring out this pair of sandals, which is probably one of the oldest items I have in my wardrobe at all. Um, I think these are around seven years old, which is crazy, but I haven't been wearing them for a couple of summers, so they've been giving quite a break. Um, and given the fact that they're originally from ASOS, the quality has actually been really good on these sandals. And then I just like the fact that they're brown. I love this um, detail right here. And uh, yeah, just felt like bringing them out this year. And that's the beauty of storing away items and being able to shop your own closet. So that was all of the items that I have added to my summer capsule this year or to my seasonal capsule to sort of spice up all my basics. And um, I have 14 items here and it sort of depends on my mood. I never, I never restrict myself to a certain number. I kind of just go with the flow and bring out the things from stores that I'm loving at the moment or that I feel like wearing. And then, like I said, I bought these two new items as well. And I feel like both items are very timeless, very versatile. So I know that if I get tired of this, by the end of the season, I can always store it away, bring it out again. This one I can even make part of my occasion wear capsule because I feel like this could look really cute for a night out as well. So yeah, I'm overall really pleased with the way my summer capsule turned out and I feel very good about going back to basics a bit and staying true to this more monochrome color scale. So yeah. All right, so before wrapping up this video completely, let me just show you the two new items that I mentioned in the beginning that I have added to my basic wardrobe. And one of the items is something that I've pulled out from storage that I've just been missing. So the first item that I've added to my basic wardrobe is this one. This is my army jacket that I've had for a couple of years. So I saw this when I was, when I was going through my storage and searching for items for my summer capsule. And I was just like, you know what? I've been missing this jacket so much. Usually I bring it out for my autumn capsule because I really like going for these green and brown colors when we reach autumn. But I feel like this is a great jacket all year round, actually just a great throw on piece. And you guys know that my style uniform is often a t-shirt, a pair of jeans, and then a pair of sneakers or boots, and then some kind of jacket. And I already have three blazers in my all year basic wardrobe, but I feel like this one is a great addition to that and just to Kind of make a more casual outfit so really pleased to be reunited with this jacket then the last item that i want to show you today which is also something that i added to my basic wardrobe are these white leg pants from arkit and uh, you guys might remember them from my last random 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 rambles <laughs> oh my god from arkit which is a new sustainable brand with, within the H&M range. Um, I've actually already written a blog post about these and also a couple of thoughts about supporting um, anything within the H&M group. So before you go completely off in that area, I will link the blog post down below so I can kind of explain my thoughts in this whole area. So definitely if you have some thoughts within that, please read that blog post because then maybe you'll come around. Um, Basically, I feel like it is important that we support any sustainable initiatives out there and I would much rather put my money in a brand like Arkit because I know everything is ethically made and it's sustainably made than I would support the conventional H&M. Anyway, back to the trousers. I absolutely love these pants and um, I love pairing them with a shirt and a pair of white sneakers or a basic t-shirt and a blazer. They're also amazing for a night out with a pair of heels and a lace cami, maybe even throw a blazer on top. I've just been loving white leg pants for such a long time and uh, these are just in an impeccable quality and they fit so well around the bum area. I mean, I don't think I've ever seen any white leg pants fit so well around the bum. They just Hug all the right places and then I feel like this pocket detail right here is just so cool. So just to wrap up that part, like I said in the beginning, my 
basic wardrobe remains the same all throughout the year, but it doesn't mean that I can't alter it or change a few things here and there if I feel like it. I've been having the same all year basic wardrobe for over a year, I think. So altering it sometimes is okay, I guess. And also if there's something that you don't really use that much, then pack it away, store it away, and then bring it back out some other, other time if you feel like it. But at the same time, be honest with yourself. One of the most important things in terms of sticking with your own style, feeling comfortable, finding your own style even, is to have a look at your lifestyle, the activities it consists of, and then sort of build your wardrobe around that. So uh, yeah, that's it for this video, guys. We really hope you enjoyed it. And uh, let me know what your own summer capsule is gonna look like down below. I would love to hear what you guys are going for this season. Before you leave, don't forget to follow me over on my Instagram for daily outfit updates. And uh, subscribe to my channel, give me a like if you enjoyed it, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys. If you're thinking about